Malinky by Lindley Dodd. Slinky Malinky was a blacker than black, a stalking and lurking adventurous cat. He had bright yellow eyes and a warbling wail, and a kink at the end of his very long tail. <laughs> Can you see his long tail? Yep. He was cheeky and cheerful, friendly and fun. He'd chase after leaves and he'd roll in the sun. But at night he was wicked and fiendish and sly. Through moonlight and shadow he'd prowl and he'd pry. Oh boy, he's gonna get in trouble. Yeah. He crept along fences, he leapt over walls, he poked into corners and sneaked into halls. What was he up to? At night, to be brief, but Slinky Dad, Malinky turned Dad, into a thief. But Dad. What? Um. So, and everyone... Oh, what's the question going to be? Um, ask them what they think he's going to do. What, are they, what do you think he's going to... What do you think the mischief is that he's going to get into? Um, he's... He says he's a thief. What do you think he'll steal? Um, ooh, sausages and slippers. Ooh. Sausage and slippers. All over town, from basket and bowl, he pilfered and pillaged. He snitched and he stole slippers and sausages, biscuits, balloons, brushes and bandages, pencils and spoons. Oh my, look at all those sausages. Oh yeah. He pulled them, he dragged them, he heaved them until he'd carried them home to his house on the hill. He's even oh. got a balloon. What? One rascally night between midnight and four, Slinky Malinky stole more than before. Some pegs and a teddy bear, dressed up in lace, a gardening glove from McCafferty's place. Yeah, there. A tatty old sneaker, a smelly old sock, and Jennifer Turkington's pottery smock. What's a smock? That is what you would wear when you were painting. Oh, yeah. We art. We used those when we were doing art in library. Yeah, there you go. Um, that lady's uh, really gonna be missing that smock. What? There we go. A squishy banana, some glue and a pen, a cushion from Oliver Tulliver's den, a clock, and some bottles, a pair of blue jeans, a half knitted sweater, a packet of beans. He pulled them, he dragged them, he heaved them until he'd carried them home to his house on the hill. Look at all that stuff. Oh my word. He's going to be in real trouble. Then Slinky Malinky, rapscallion cat, piled them up high in a heap on the mat. Oh my. The, the glue toppled over and gummed up the pegs. The sweater unraveled and tangled his legs. He tripped on the bottles and slipped on the sock. He tipped over sideways and set off the clock. Oh, what do you think's gonna happen? Crash went the bottles. Beep, beep went the clock. Roof, 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 roof went the dogs on the block. On went the lights, bang went the door. And out came the family. One, two, three, four. Look at all of those legs and feet. Yep. Oh, my goodness. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, he's got a glove stuck to his head. Ooh, he looks like he's going to have to return it tomorrow. Oh, no, they all said. What a criminal cat. Tomorrow we'll have to take everything back. With tangled up middle and glue on his face, Slinky Malinky was deep in disgrace. Mm. Oh, he looks a little bummed out, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Never again did he answer the call when moon and shadows danced over garden and wall. When whispers of wickedness stirred in his head, he adjusted his whiskers and stayed home instead. Ooh, yeah, he's the, the end. He better be a good cat. 
So what did you think about the book? I like that one. Me too. I think that might be my favorite. Well, it's not my favorite. I still have a lot of other ones. Because oh. I love all the Ranger Ricks that we have. <laughs> I'm going to like the new ones too. All right, what do you say we sign off here? Bye.